Welcome to this quick video on focusing on your data in Microsoft Excel. So I've got a spreadsheet open here. I have a table of information, but as I'm in Microsoft Excel, I've got all sorts of stuff. I've got my grid lines on there. I can see the numbers and the letters for the rows and the column. I can see my formula bar and I can see the ribbon. And sometimes you just want to be able to turn all of that off so you can focus on the data, especially if you're sharing it on the screen and you might not have a lot of real estate, a lot of screen size to show your information off. So I'm going to show you how to turn these things on and off. So there's a couple of things you can do immediately. If you go to the view tab and you go to show, you can turn off the headings. Now, if I click on that one, it's going to take away my column and row information. I can turn off the grid lines and that will take off all of the grid lines. And I can turn off the formula bar and that's got rid of my formula bar for me. So that's really, really nice and easy. And I can still use my spreadsheet in exactly the same way. The final one is the ribbon. Now I'm using a PC. So if you're on a Mac, it might be slightly different. But on the PC, if I click on the drop down arrow where it comes up and says ribbon display options, it might come off my screen slightly, but I've got full screen mode. I've got show tabs only and I've got always show ribbon. I'm going to select show tabs only and that will reduce that down. So it's just got rid of that ribbon for me. I can make this bigger by using my zoom at the bottom and I can really use my screen size to show all of my information. And I've got rid of all of that distraction around. If I want to turn it all back on, let me just zoom out a little bit. Not too much though. I'm going to click on any one of my tabs and when I come into that, if I click on that drop down arrow again and go for always show ribbon, that will lock that in place. And then remember, I went to the view tab and I went to show and I'm just going to return the headings, the grid lines and the formula on. And all of that now is back really nicely. But sometimes, like I said, you just want to take away all of that distraction and just showcase your data. And you can do that nice and easy by using those quick functions in Microsoft Excel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.